but i also think maybe that's the reason why i've always been a bit guarded when it comes to having friends anyway i feel like deep down um i've got a lot of unaddressed trauma <laughs> from like being let down by or maybe um that one story that i've got that's very pathetic about when i was like how old was i i think i must have been like I swear to God, I think I might have been like 10 or 11 or something, right? Um, there was these kids in my in my area that I was friends with and shit. And, um, you know, we were all kind of friends. We were cool. We were playing football. And then this new guy moved in. He was my neighbor called John. He's the same guy that I talk about on the podcast where he was a dude who like pretended he was hooking up with a girl in his room, but he was actually, you know, humping a pillow to show off to us or something. It was a very strange dude anyway. Very strange guy. But this this new kid called John moved into the to next door to our house and he was the kid that moved in new who was like the rich kid right his his parents had like two cars which in that in my area was weird his mum had a car his dad had a car they had an in crazy like landscape garden their front lawn was crazy land. and again these are things in a hoodie you don't see people would pristine turf on their front lawn pristine turf in the back garden and shit right house looking immaculate two cars he had all the latest trainers and shit super cool kid so he came in when we were 10 this guy called john and for some reason i don't know why this happened but like he took everybody's like he took everybody's attention but for some reason it meant that I was pushed out. Like he was a new kid in school. He was a new kid in the area, not in school that everybody wanted to hang out with because he was cool and he had money and shit. Um, and plus he was allowed to do what he wanted. But then for some reason, I got pushed out of the social group. I was not allowed in the friend group anymore. I don't know what happened. It's strange. But then I didn't clock it. I was like, you know, 11, 10. So I didn't realize what was going on. Then every other day I started to see like, no one was knocking for me because you know when we were kids back in the day you people would knock at you at the door hey come out or they'll scream your name from the window from outside and i kept noticing no one was knocking for me i had to go out and find them like i'd go and find them in the park i'd find them around the corner i'd find them over there but i had to go out and find them before they'd just be like knocking for me but no one's knocking then one day i was like what the fuck is going on why no one knocking for me and i went outside to go look for them i couldn't find them finally find them and then they're like all acting cold towards me. It's like it's like a scene in an American movie. They all got their backs turned towards me. And I walk up to them and say, hey man, what's going on? Can I like hang out with you guys? And like, like super innocent. Like imagine me with my big head on a small body, like nine, 11 or 10 years old. I'm like, hey guys, you want to be my friend? Let's hang out or something like that. <laughs> and they turned around and they're like, nah, we don't want to be your friend anymore, Agostina. Oh, I think it's, yeah, and I think back then, they called me Zinger. We don't, we don't want to be your friend, Zinger. We don't want to be your friend. And I was like, I started crying. <laughs> I went back, ran, I ran back home, started crying, right? Like, again, the scene in the American movie. I ran back home, ran up the stairs, jumped on my bed and started bawling my eyes out, right? So I bawling my eyes out, and my dad came into my room. My dad came into my room, right? My African dad, and started shouting at me. He nearly started hitting me. <laughs> <laughs> because i was crying my African dad was like what the fuck are you crying for man up no one cries like that fuck them they're not really your friends anyway why are you crying like he started blasting me for having feelings <laughs> i was like what what's happening man so i honestly think i swear to god this is really odd this is really odd but i saw my life i think that one instance that one little moment might be one of the reasons why I'm so closed off in real life, why I don't really have friends and stuff and why I kind of keep people at arm's distance, why I don't try to cultivate, nurture, you know, fucking relationships and take it from acquaintances to friend to like hangouts or friend. I just kind of keep it very small to people that I've kind of known for, you know, 20 plus years and stuff. I think that's one of the reasons why because of that one minor fucking thing imagine it's so fucking insignificant it's so fucking minor happens all the time but honestly i swear for some reason that's made me the person i am but i'm not using that as an excuse like i said before this year's the year that agassino doesn't let people down so even though people let me down even though people come up against me and they spite me and they hurt my feelings i'm not gonna let them down that's my promise now going forward i'm gonna follow through for it so if you make a plan with me in real life and you want me to hang out you want us to hang out have a good time have adult fun i'm gonna i'm gonna follow through i'm gonna follow through i'm gonna be there or if i can't be there i'll let you know but i'm not gonna say i'm gonna be there and not be there you know that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna keep on promise to people because just because they didn't keep the promise to me i'm gonna keep the promise to them i'm not gonna turn that story into making me a villain all right that's what i'm not gonna do anyway moving on moving on quick health update so off the back of me having crazy sinus infections guess what happened to me my body is i don't know if this is like a call 
or if this is like a sign from the universe i have to start running now because i realized when i was running when i was doing like 20 to 30 miles per week right when i was running races that's what i'm gonna do this month this this month is my first race i'm gonna do i'm gonna do a 5k and i'm gonna build it up so 5 10 um half marathon full marathon and then keep doing it at the end of the month each each month forever to give me something to kind of aim for when i was running 20 to 30 miles per week i swear on my life even though i couldn't walk properly and i had you know really painful arch foot arches and my knees were being fucked up and stuff you know what i realized back in the day when i think about it i wasn't getting as ill nowadays i'm just lifting weights i'm doing a bit of crossfit and shit but i feel like i'm getting way more ill now than i did before in the past and this is a good <laughs> segue off the back of me i've been a crazy sinus infection guess what happened to me recently i had a crazy toothache to the point where the right side of my face was super swollen and it was throbbing and i felt like i was gonna die and i kept like you know when you're in so much pain in your teeth that you go to sleep has that happened to you before where well, you're in so much pain you have so much teeth pain your jaw is fucking throbbing it's so painful that it makes you go to sleep it sends you to sleep that's how painful it is and sometimes it's so painful that you wake up from your sleep so i wasn't sleeping that well for the last couple of weeks um and then i finally you know standard man i never got it checked out i finally went to the fucking dentist to get it checked out and guess what happened i've got a rotten tooth i have to get a fucking root canal done one of my teeth at the bottom here has a fucking hole in it which i didn't realize and because recently i was trying to bite stuff and you know it would send it would give me shivers it would get, send shocks all over my fucking body and now i realize i've got a fuck i went to a dentist the other day and i'm gonna go again on monday to go get it taken out i've got a fucking root canal i've got to get a root canal so basically the, the the tooth at the bottom, the roots of it are, you know, spread into the gums are a bit decayed and shit. So I've got to get that done and checked up. But you know what really hurt about it? The price. <laughs> you know how much that is to get a root canal done? 300 pounds privately. Obviously, if you do it NHS, it's a bit cheaper, but the NHS takes ages to get through and shit. I want to get that sorted tomorrow. I'm going to be paying privately to get my root canal done. And it's going to be a 300 pounds. But I deserve it. I deserve it. I deserve having to pay 300 pounds to get my teeth fixed because I neglected it. I neglected it for so long. I can't tell you the last time I went to a dentist. It might have been like 10 years ago. The last time I've been to a dentist is fucking crazy. But you know what I feel really ashamed about? I feel really ashamed about this because I was the same person on this very podcast that sat here and said, I need to go to Turkey to go get new teeth. I went to go Turkey and get fucking, you know, those big fucking fake porcelain teeth in my face, right? That's what I wanted to do. Everybody was getting those fucking big fucking massive teeth. I went to get them. Imagine how dumb I'd be to go to Turkey to go get my new teeth installed when I've got rotten teeth inside my mouth. The actual teeth in my mouth I'm not taking care of. And here I am going to fucking Turkey to go get a new set of teeth put in. That's shameful, absolutely shameful. I'm actually embarrassed that I let my teeth get to that point, right? That they're rotting. Like I've got to get a fucking root canal done and shit. Because I think I went to the dentist and the guy basically said, hey, you got two options. Number one option, um, no, number one option obviously is this. They gave me fucking um, antibiotics. I've got um, amoxicillin. These antibiotics I'm taking, right? These ones, you see that? Amoxicillin, I've got these these tablets to help with the fucking, you know, um, gum disease or whatever's happening with the root canal. Um, I could just take these and she said after a week, the pain will go away with flipping painkillers as well as a combination. It will go away and it'll be fine. The second option is to take the tooth out, which is 150 pounds. Just remove the whole tooth. Um, but then the issue is if you want to get that tooth re-put in, They've got to screw it and i think they said to get a, a tooth screwed into your gums it's like a thousand so if you take it out 150 it's cheap but then to put a new teeth in there's like a thousand something and then option three is what i'm going to do on monday or later on today actually is i'm going to go get a root canal done so hopefully on monday they can save the tooth because that's what the dentist says says you'd advise to save it um if you can save a tooth save it so i'm going to go get my root canal done but from this moment on this is a sign for me to take my fucking tooth hygiene seriously because i thought i was pretty decent with it you know i usually brush in the morning and in the evening um i usually brush after every meal and stuff i thought generally my teeth were in pretty decent shape but i guess they're not especially if i've got a fucking hole in one of them so now i'm gonna have to get it done but honestly man i got to the point where irish sorry i got to the point where fucking ibuprofen wasn't working that's when i knew i had a problem i was taking should i confess should i be real with you guys and confess 
I think I was taking like 10 of these a day. I will pray for <laughs> Don't tell no one. I think I was taking like 10 of these. I was buying like, I don't know, a box a day to, to quell the pain and it wasn't working. That's when I realized I had an issue. When I realized that the painkillers weren't working anymore, that's when I realized I had an issue. So I went to the dentist <laughs> on the Sunday. There was an emergency one. And um, yeah, man, they were able to kind of help me out. But how embarrassing is that for a guy? You have to get to a point where your teeth are naturally ro rotting for you to in it. Because there was a point where on Sunday, where the side, you can't see it now, but there was a point on Sunday where the side of my face was swollen, like, this bit was swollen here like you could see like my face was like throbbing and i was starting to get like a headache and shit i was like oh my god man but yeah hey you know i'm just letting you guys know that because some of you guys out there think i'm perfect right you think i don't have any flaws <laughs> but this is the truth of my life the truth of my life is that man the truth of my life is that i have to get a root canal done uh, because I probably, what, my diet, I don't think my diet is even that bad, to be fair, I just think I didn't take care of my teeth, I swear to God, I don't even think it's to do with my diet, it's not like I'm sitting, it's not like I wake up and eat fucking licorice every day, um, I don't drink fizzy drinks, you know, I only really drink water, um, I barely have booze, I, I only when I go out, really, for the most part, I don't really have booze at home, I never really have beers or whatever, I just think it's actually worse than that, it's just, I just didn't take proper care of my teeth like i thought i did so now i have to get those done but i just can't believe i was going to get turkish delights i was going to go to turkey to go get you know in that no what's that porcelain teeth put in my face when the actual teeth i've got in my in my fucking mouth are already rotten and shit it doesn't make any sense but um what can you do people in the chat saying it's the cat <laughs> big up cast iron pan it's the cat <laughs> I'm not drinking the ketamine, man. That's just going up my nostril, allegedly. It's not the fucking cat. It's too much cornbread. Yeah, big up, Alexander. If you know, you know about that cornbread. <laughs> if you know, you know about that cornbread. Cornbread. Oh, but big up the chat. You guys are fucking hilarious. Um, <laughs> uh, Chris Max says, if you're having new teeth bolted on your jaw, they have to put a cavity of flesh in your gums to, oh my God. They have to put a cavadier flesh in your gums to hold the implant. Okay, Chris Mack, thank you for that. Cheers so much. Cheers. <laughs> oh, big up, um, big up Theodore. Sorry, I just saw your super chat there. Let me replay that. Big up, big up Theodore. Wait, one second, let's see if it plays. Oh, whoops, is it not playing? Why is the chat? Why is that thing not playing there? Let's do it one more time. For some reason, your super chat isn't playing for you. Though. Apologies for that, brother. Can you hear that now? Nope. Okay, cool. Either way, too many tater tats, too little flossing. Exactly, Theodore. Exactly, Theodore. Exactly. I didn't really take care of my teeth. No enough, you know, I need to get that check out. But thank you for the super chat, brother. I appreciate you so much. Uh, moving on. So, I've been thinking about my mortality. <laughs> we don't close. <laughs> okay there we go it's there can you hear that now yeah you can hear that uh okay i don't know why it's not playing but regardless um big up matthew malone i had a similar situation to your kid story fucked me up into adulthood and makes me apprehensive to meet new people oh thank you okay thank you matthew i thought i was on my own there i thought i was on my own i thought i was a psycho but it's good to know i'm not the only one that had a I think maybe there's a part of me that's trying to minimize how traumatic that experience was by saying it's not a big deal. But maybe if I'm in my adulthood now and I'm still suffering from that, that probably shows it's a big deal. <laughs> that's probably proof that it's a big deal. But big up Matthew, man. We got you. We got each other, brother. We got each other, right? We got each other. We're going to get through this. We're going to get through this. Koila, last night was mad real. <laughs> Zinger took 10 out. <laughs> Actually, um, for the guys in the chat, for the guys and girls in the chat, the druggies in the chat, don't pills fuck up your teeth? Isn't that true? Don't if you take loads of like prescription pills, don't don't they eventually fuck up your teeth? Or am I or am I thinking of lean? What's that drug that you guys have in America that fucks up your teeth weirdly? I don't know what I'm thinking of. Is it pills or is it lean? Maybe it's lean because it's sugar. I don't know which one it is. It's opioids, definitely. Something fucks up your teeth. They make your bones brittle so your teeth fall out. 
God damn, vitamin meth. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Fucks your stomach. Yeah, your liver, meth, 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 meth. Okay, cool. You know what? Should we just do this quickly? Because I just want to quick quickly check this. Let's see what, what this does. Let's see what this does. Let's let's do this. Let's do meth teeth. Meth teeth. Let's do this. What happens if we, if we search this? Meth teeth. What do we get on Google Images? Apologies. If you're eating right now, please look away from the screen. If you're eating right now and you're watching this, please look away from the screen. Anywhere you are, if you're eating something, please look away from the screen. Let's see what images say. Meth teeth. Ooh! Wow. God almighty. Look at these pictures of people that are allegedly on meth. Look at their teeth. Oh my God. Oh my God. Jesus Christ, bro. Imagine. Meth, how tasty is meth? Meth must taste like fucking double chalk chip cookies. Because how would you let your teeth get... Is the meth high that good? I've never had meth, to be fair. I wonder if it's actually that good. That it would let you get your teeth that to just die, this case. Jesus Christ. Meth must be so good, man. The high must be amazing. Because I could never do it. Let your teeth get that way. Okay, um, big up MM. What's good, my MM? My G, my lady, my friend. What are you saying? Um, that's if you smoke it. Trips are fine because it's not in entry. Okay, cool. So I guess if you do that, that's only if you smoke. Jesus, they should have just popped an ad exactly. <laughs> Bar salts. All I see is British shit con stars. <laughs> you know what, Alexander Martin? You're right. That was That is very British of me, isn't it? That is very British of me to have like a root canal right to have a root canal issue that's a very british thing of me that i've got even though my teeth look decent enough there's issues going on behind the scenes that's probably a really good uh, summation there that's my britishness coming out my fucked up teeth <laughs> anyway moving on 